My name is Marx, Kurt Marx, and I'm being sculpted. <laughs> uh, that's, what, that's what's happening here today. We're at Edgware and Hendon Reform Synagogue, and as a synagogue, we've been here since 1935. So this is a really a family event because my daughter-in-law is displaying her sculpture. My daughter's going to display her paintings and, and my grandchildren are coming and my son, so it's lovely. It's been really special for us that so many people have come to this event. I think it's partly because it's members of our synagogue who are doing it. The craft stalls all around the outside are also members of the synagogue and really a sense of celebration as well as a sense of commemoration. To see this all going on here is really, you know, the whole community and it being busy and so many people coming to support it, it's really lovely. Beautiful having Gisette, Vicky and Mum all, mum obviously being the centrepiece, but having us all here together with the kids and everyone and the community. Yeah, great. I think it's a very uh, lovely atmosphere. People have come, they're watching, they're observing. And it's a nice social event where everyone gets together to watch it and talk to people and enjoy the artwork around. Uh, she's done quite a number of Holocaust survivors. So now she's found that somebody who's even older than the Holocaust survivors because I came here with the kinder transport before the war. So we had our 85th anniversary a few weeks ago. Kurt is an extraordinary man. I mean, he's had quite an adventurous life as well as growing up in Cologne as a child being on the kinder transport and very much part now of those who are still able to be articulate at this incredibly advanced age. He's a calm, simple man in a humble way, very much loved by the community. He sees his survival as his luck. He sees his coming here on the train with uh, pupils from the school he was at. He said, it felt like we were going on a school trip. He's just so lovely. I mean, he's 98 years old and he's fantastic. Really interesting. I'm very fit for 98 years old. I've had a long chat with him and he's told me a lot about his story. He's got very unusual eyes, so that's going to be great, that part, you know, because I can focus on that. He's spent the last um, few years discussing um, his experiences um, during the Holocaust and he's been sort of interviewed in kind of just about every medium there is going at this point. He always tries to sort of downplay the, the quite extreme experience he went through. It's interesting to see how this lump of clay in front of your eyes becomes a person. It's wonderful to watch Francis sculpt. I, I can't believe it, actually. I came in here, there was a block of clay. Within very few minutes, Kurt was there. There were two Kurt's. She hasn't been doing it for too long, but you can already see that she's captured, I think, the eyes and the eyebrows especially. There's a moment when you just say, ah, oh, she's got him, and it isn't about the shell, because you never capture somebody just with a perfect face. There always has to be something else, and that something else is not tangible. You can't describe it. It just gets there, and just a minute ago I looked and I thought, ah, oh, he's arrived. I think my grandma's work's very impressive for the... Uh, time in which she sculpts these people uh, under pressure, being watched by people as there's other stuff that's going around. I know that the challenge of it in front of an audience is what gives her the motivation. Because she's got those two hours, it's kind of the pressure of it actually helps her maybe. I think what Frances is doing today is incredible. Uh, um, she's making these people immortal. She's um, ensuring that they're never forgotten. I still want to carry on sculpting these people and I just get a wonderful feeling myself from it. With this, it's, it's almost like a provocation. So an artwork has been created which if you hadn't, um, I don't know, if you didn't know much about this topic before and you saw something like that, you might say, what's that about? Ask questions. It might provoke some conversation about it. I'm very proud of her and I think what she's doing is really nice and I think she should keep doing it. It's really interesting for me to hear these stories about the Holocaust survivors. It's very important that people know these stories and don't forget about the people. I think it's important so the Holocaust is never forgotten and it proves to people that it did happen and for generations to come so they can see what's 
been shown. I think it's really nice that she like gets to connect with the Holocaust survivors, seeing that it was like from a completely different generation. We all get to learn like how, well, how, there's li how their life was in World War II. I never would have thought when she did her first that would, is this the 15th today? Yeah, it's amazing. And uh, long may it continue, as long as, you know, people are still around, we sh she should get as many done as possible. It would be works that will last generations. And uh, I'm very, very happy and proud, of course.